Alright, so, now we're going to be talking about Battlefield 4. Now, they did a pretty decent sized segment on this. They talk, actually, the gameplay's on it right now. They did a 64 person, meaning 32 on 32 game, live on stage. They really lifted up the curtain and all these guys sitting on their computer, uh, some using mouse and keyboard, some using the gamepad, were all playing live game. Okay? Now, they were, obviously, it's not going to be like high paced. You know, they, they do that slow motion turning to make it all uh, scenic and all that kind of stuff. Um, what what was really cool is that, bef before I get to what was really cool, they have this new mode called Commander, and you can use, like, your tablet um, with a certain app, I'm sure, where you can, like, send in artillery strikes. Say there's a barrage of tanks coming in. You can ha you can tell your commander we need to get you we need to get some artillery coming in so they can send in artillery and bomb those tanks. It's pretty cool and you don't even have to be at your system to be a commander. You could be sitting on the train on your uh, 3G iPad or whatever and you could be playing literally Battlefield helping people out. I I'm pretty sure it's going to be one commander versus one commander on 32 and 32. So that's yeah, actually really really cool. Um, now the really now the really, 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 really cool part was when Battlefield 3 first came out, it was pretty much destructible buildings. Okay, you have a shack, you could literally blow it up. Now the, the, the map they were playing at was a pretty downtowny area, okay, there was skyscrapers everywhere. Now there was this helicopter that trapped them inside. They took an elevator to one of the higher floors, and those tanks I was just mentioning where the artillery strike came in. They were weakening the supports on the ground, and guess what happened? The building became stable, they had to jump out of the building, parachute down. Destructible buildings on a massive scale. No more little, sh well there's still going to be shacks, but much more destructibility than just a shack going down. We're talking skyscrapers falling to the ground. If you've ever played the Modern Warfare 3 campaign where you have the, what's it, the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> forgot their name. The Eiffel Tower falling down, that will pretty much be every building in all the like the skyscraper maps. So that is really cool. What else? What else? What else? Oh yeah, they were also talking about during E3 you can watch a live stream of Battlefield 4 multiplayer on Battlefield.com throughout E3. So while it's while E3 is going on, you can go to Battlefield.com and watch them playing live Battlefield 4 footage. So you guys should definitely jump on that. It was really, really, really fun looking at. Uh, obviously, it's not going to be as fast-paced because they want to show off all the game mechanics and all the little neat stuff you could do with it. But it's still good to get an idea of what Battlefield 4 is to come. Uh, be sure to check out more E3 coverage. I'll be back soon.